In the ruin of the old world lives the civilization of Atilitaria. Only the brick, the stone, and the bones remain. The great structures of humanity's past turned into places of meeting, learning, shelter, and community. In these grand, rehabilitated spaces, we gather to tell stories and read from books, tales from authors past and present. We make up stories from old photographs about the long-lost faces within them. We laugh at and admire their clothes and the strange environments they are fixed within, past lives of our world. It is funny how that which has always been old outlasts what becomes old. Legacy remains legacy, but the objects that we give our blood, sweat, and often our bodies to endure the test of time. Energies within them still cling to our memory. The craft remains, but with the appreciation to the process of its making, being a verb rather than a noun, the artifacts held captive in museums are returned to their home cultures once again. Their preservation is now dependent on their utility instead of the archive. Their purpose is given back to them, and more are made for their accompaniment. Humanity is always innovative. With nothing, we find ways of making. Whether it be a thing we need or a thing we need to pull out of ourselves, through processes that overlap utility for practice and practice for utility. The truth is, we don't need much. There is, however, so much we want, which gets intertwined with our needs and ties us up into knots so we don't know pleasure from pain. The things we do need are quite simple, yet dependent on how we forge these necessities. We need shelter. In cozy, safe places, we can call home to rest our sore bodies and busy minds, accompanied by the shelter of our clothing full of warmth, memory, and identity. We need entertainment, we need entertainment, manufactured from our ability to learn, filling ourselves with knowledge to keep ourselves ever evolving, laughing, and thoughtful. To always be willing to learn helps us work towards futures that help us look past selfish we need nourishment of our bellies and we bodies. Need nourishment of our bellies and bodies, food cultivated by hands of love to be tasted and appreciated over wine, spirits, and laughter. Our nourishment replenishes us. Our bodies feel as much as our minds do, and sustenance is our means to communicate between the physical and mental aspects of our physical being. and mental aspects of our being. We need purpose. We need something to guide us when we are not sure what to hold on to about ourselves, to keep us motivated when our cause feels lost and to make the peaceful moments that much more sweet. We need love, to be held, appreciated, and needed by friends, lovers, family, and partners, as we need to appreciate and hold them, close to our hearts, deep within our souls, filling us up and helping us feel whole. Within these values and knowledges, Atilitaria begins to lay its roots slowly growing when the people stop being afraid to leave their shabby homes and cities falling to ruin. As the earth begins to take itself back, we become its guests instead of trying to make it our slave. We grew like squishy moss, clinging to the rocks, squiggly roots extending out over the earth to multiply into an ecosystem. As a community, we develop a sense of dependability and accountability. So we make things for one another. We collaborate with our experience and our skills. No one person should try to make everything themselves. To make a bowl and receive a jacket in return makes one of us warm and the other fed. It is all our individual strengths combined that make something beautiful function. We reject former use of fear and violence as tools of power, because it is those that do not know how to make anything that seek power. In the structures we now call home, we reflect on our history, complicated and violent, so not to forget those that have been sacrificed throughout it. We mourn those that suffered in countless heroic acts against governance that took better care of their bureaucracy and commodities than they did of their people. We mourn the people that sat in those halls, passing laws that eventually brought the world to ruin. We cry over their mercilessness, their complacency, and for the world that was brought down on top of them. We will not repeat our history. We will not hold prejudice against one another for our skin, bodies, or minds. We will not crucify each other over religion, culture, sexuality, or gender identity. We will not turn a blind eye to human and non-human alike ever again. We will reckon with our history and our genealogy. We will hear each other's voices with open, understanding hearts and hold space for those that need it most. We look to our elders, mothers, powerful women, trans and gender fluid people to guide our community, knowing that the more indigenous and people of color leading us will create safe spaces for one another. We say this together 
We continue to say this so we don't forget. <laughs>